of the questions uh, talk about how you treat Osama in, in your presentation tonight. And it sounds as if you're a friend of Osama instead of a foe. Please explain further of your present position, which seems to justify the New York Times criticism. Well, I think he's an extraordinary man. Um, I think uh, if, you, if you look at back at our own world, at our own society, there's no man who has changed our history for the worse more in the last 50 years than Osama bin Laden. And um, that strikes me as a, a foe we perhaps ought to understand and respect in order to annihilate him. Bin Laden is uh, an absolutely unique historical figure in, in the contemporary world. We have all watched, for example, the Palestinians, uh, all of whom are of the same ethnic derivation, they all speak the same language, they can't get from one side of the street to the other without arguing for six months. Bin Laden's organization is um, multi-ethnic, multilingual. Uh, it is absolutely unprecedented in the Muslim world. This is a man who is, though we don't like to admit it, um, cut very much from the cloth of Islamic, his of Islamic history, of, of Muslim heroes. He is unpretentious. He is not flamboyant. He speaks a, a Arabic that is said to be poetic. He has been wounded in combat four times. He has a tremendous um, cachet in a very poor Muslim world as a man who gave up being heir to a $20 billion fortune, or at least part of it, to drink Afghan water and fight for 25 years. He's, a, he's someone who needs to be respected before uh, uh, we can defeat him. And I also, frankly, will tell you that, that he does what he says he's going to do. America has not had an enemy who is so intent on having us understand what this war is about, why it's being fought, and how long it will go on. And uh, one of the things I have tried to do in all my books is to draw a uh, correlation between what he has said and what his forces have said and what they've done. And it's a remarkable correlation. It's in the 80 percent range. If they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it. So um, laughing at him, ridiculing him, uh, saying that he's running from rock to rock and cave to cave is all good fun. And Americans have always made fun of their enemies. Uh, but where has it gotten us so far? We're losing two wars at the moment. Take a look at what his, well, how does he explain his war goals, how to defeat the Americans? Simply, three simple phrases. Lead the Americans to bankruptcy, spread their forces worldwide to the point of ineffectiveness, and destroy their domestic political unity. That's not a bad description of, of where we stand at the moment. And if, you, if, you, if you're going to treat someone who has brought us, with our own help, to that point, with, with just contempt and ridicule, I think you will underestimate the enemy for uh, the foreseeable future.